Here's why our office does not file expedite requests. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. My team came to me and said, Jim, can you do a video on why our office does not file expedite requests? And I said, I'd be happy to do that. But since I was doing it for our current clients, I wanted to share it with the world. So this will go to our current clients who are asking about expedite requests and anybody else who's watching on YouTube. And the thing you need to understand is that there are backlogs all across immigration. There are backlogs at USCIS, at the National Visa Center, at the State Department. And everybody and his brother and their sister are asking for expedite requests. So if everybody's asking to have their cases expedited, it's as if no one is asking. It makes no difference in asking for them when so many people are saying, my case should go to the front of the line. Now, we have had a little bit of success in very few cases with extremely dire circumstances. So a lot of people say, well, I need to start my job a little sooner or I need to get to America a little bit faster. That is not going to cut it on an expedite request. USCIS, the National Visa Center, the State Department, they're not going to listen to that. So we follow the statistics and the vast majority, the vast, vast, vast majority of expedite requests get denied. And what I'm talking about, 95%, 97% get denied. And I believe that even on those few percentage ones that do get approved for expediting, nothing actually happens. They don't do anything faster. I would say of all the ones that get expedited, half have nothing happened that wouldn't have happened anyway. So in our office, we do not file expedite requests. We have done it on just a few occasions for really dire circumstances where somebody was dying or somebody was literally about ready to give birth. But even then, we have to charge extra because it's a lot of extra work and it's beyond the scope of what we were hired to do. And you have to understand, and we want your your frustration and your anger to be directed not at us as your attorneys or even as me making this YouTube video. Your anger and your disgust should be at these agencies that are not doing their jobs. You should talk to your members of Congress not just specifically about your case, but about the long delays at these federal agencies that simply refuse to do their job. I remember the first time I started suing USCIS, my uncle, who was a U.S. attorney, said, Jimmy, you're suing them and you're asking them to do what they are legally obligated to do. And I go, that's right, Uncle Mike. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. So calling your congressperson, filing a complaint with the ombudsman, making an info pass appointment, calling USCIS over and over, uh, asking for a service request, asking for your case to be expedited, it is not going to work. There's really only one thing that works, and that's suing the federal government when you have an immigration delay. We have now filed over 1,600 of these lawsuits, and we have seen all kinds of cases get solved a whole lot faster by filing a writ of mandamus and a uh, APA violation case against these agencies. We ask a federal judge to compel them to decide these long pending cases. This is the option that we offer. This is how we help our clients. This is how we fight for clients, for immigrants every single day. We do that by filing lawsuits and not wasting our time with requests to expedite. They don't work, nobody's taking them seriously, and you're wasting your time and you're just setting yourself up for frustration when you file these cases. So uh, I found out that we had done a few extra of these in the office and I put an immediate stop to them because they do not work. They do not work and we don't wanna get your hopes up we don't want to get anyone else's hopes up, and we want to help you move your case forward. And the only way we know how to do that is to file a lawsuit after a certain amount of time has passed. Everything else is simply a waste of time, and we won't do it. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions about this, you can email us at info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're wanting to hire us as your attorney or if you want to sue USCIS, we'd be happy to help you with that. If you need to get a hold of us by phone, you can reach us at 314-961-8200. We also have our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. Over the weekend, we had 40 people join Immigrant Home. It's where immigrants are talking every single day. We're seeing 50, 60, 70 posts a week by immigrants inside that group. We'd love to have you join us there. We also have our YouTube channel where I go live a couple times a week. And I also release new videos uh, several times a week about different immigration topics, including whether or not it makes sense to try to expedite your case. Hope this all makes sense. We'd love to see you there for our Immigration Answers show, and we'd love to help you if we can. Feel free to give us a call or reach out uh, however is going to work for you. Thanks so much, and have a great day.